as we begin this Lenten season. Lent is a time when we look at our perspective, our point of view, how we look at things, and see, is there something different? Is there a different way that I can look at the world around me? Can I have a different perspective, a different point of view? Can I perhaps even try to have the perspective and the point of view of God himself? Just got back a small group of us from our service trip to the Dominican Republic. And every time I go to the Dominican Republic, it gives me a sense of perspective, a sense of how I might need to change my point of view just a little. And sometimes the things we experience are things that change our point of view and we go, okay, that's good. And sometimes the things we experience and we go, I, I wish I didn't feel that way. On the day we arrived, I went into my room and there were two beds. And there was a larger bed and a smaller bed, so of course I took the larger bed. But crawling on the sheet, there was a spider. And so I thought, well, I'm just going to shake the spider off the sheet. So I picked up the sheet and shook, and then I saw the mattress. And I thought to myself, I'm not sure I want to sleep on that mattress. And then I felt really bad that I thought that way. Because anybody where we were who had a mattress would be happy to just have a mattress. And here I was thinking, eh, I don't want to sleep on that mattress. Perhaps a different perspective, a different point of view. Maybe we don't think we're that blessed because we have a mattress that is clean. But perhaps this is an opportunity in this Lenten season to take a look at all the things we take for granted and how God might want us to change our perspective, our point of view. I'm almost ashamed to say I also slept on the small bed the whole week because I didn't know what that mattress looked like. I didn't take the sheet off. I just thought. <laughs> we went into a cemetery to visit the grave of a young man, Ricky, who I knew 22 years ago, who died about 15 years ago. He was an artist. He painted with his mouth because he was paralyzed. And we went into the cemetery, and all the graves are above ground. Most of the graves were not well taken care of. The cemetery itself was not well taken care of. When we got to Ricky's grave, and we decided we needed to clean it up just a little, to make it look like somebody cared about this person. I wondered if the other people with, with me thought I was a little crazy because I wanted to clean up the grave. My friends, each and every one of us is important. We might not always agree with each other. We might not always look at things in the same way. But each and every one of us is important. As I was in that cemetery, I looked at all the graves that we weren't taking care of and thought about the people who had passed away and nobody seemed to care. My friends, perhaps the point of view, the perspective God wants us to have is to recognize that each and every one of us are a child of God that each and every one of us are important. I've spoken before about the tennis balls. This year we gave out about 1,000 tennis balls to children. And you think a tennis ball. But if you could see the joy on the faces of those children when they received a simple tennis ball,
tennis ball. A different perspective. A different point of view. What do we have that we don't take joy in? How much time do we spend thinking about all the things we don't have? All the things everybody else has. All the things everybody else is able to do. All the gifts other people have. Perhaps the change in our perspective is simply taking joy in the simple things of life. What would be different for us today if we simply took joy in the simple things of life? We drove about a two and a half hour ride down to Santa Domingo and we went to a school for children with special needs. And in one of the groups that we were meeting with, a young man was very joyful, but he was kind of a little out of control. And so I don't know, I just stood up and I went over and I sat next to him and just kind of held him. And the look he gave me, and I just sat there and just held him. That's what God wants to do with each and every one of us. He just wants to sit with us and hold us. What would be different today if we let God do that? If we let God just sit down and hold us? A different perspective, a different point of view. There's a place a little town that I've been going to for 22 years. And the road to this town, this area, was in terrible shape. A dirt road, if it was muddy and rainy, it was a mess, if it was dry, it was dusty. There were potholes, there were little streams or rivers that you had to travel over and sometimes through to continue on. Much to my surprise, a road was being put in. And my first thought was, where did they get the money to build this road? But as I drove with other people on that road, I thought, what hope this must bring to the people in this area. We're no longer forgotten. We're no longer in an area where it's difficult to get to. We have a road now. My friends, maybe the change in perspective, the change in point of view that we can ask for in this Lenten season is to be a people of hope, to never lose hope, to believe there's something greater, to believe God is with us, to believe God cares even when it seems like he doesn't. To believe that a relationship with God is important. To believe coming here is important. To believe receiving our Lord in the Eucharist is important. To be a people of hope. The gospel today, the temptation story, is the shortest temptation story in the gospels. We don't even know what happened. We just know he was tempted. Each and every time we're tempted It's an opportunity for grace. Each and every time we're tempted, it's an opportunity to call on the Lord. Each and every time we're tempted, it's an opportunity to surrender to the Lord, to give ourselves to the Lord, I give you this. Lord, I ask for your grace. Lord, I ask for your strength. Perhaps that is the change in perspective, the change in point of view that God wants us to have in this Lenten season. To recognize in those moments of temptation that he is there. And all we have to do is call on him and he will hold us and give us the grace and the strength we need. So Lent is an opportunity for us to perhaps change our perspective just a little. Change our point of view just a little. But they ask God in at least the smallest of ways to see things 
as he sees them. In a few moments, those who are joining our Catholic faith will come forward because in their hearts, they sense that allowing God to be a part of their lives will make a difference.